So what is the biggest thing that say most homeowners or lawn enthusiasts enthusiasts will still get completely wrong about fungicide resistance or diseases that drives turf pathology nuts? Is there anything we're doing that's like, man, why are you guys doing that? Let's knock it off. Irrigation, irrigation, irrigation. In ground irrigation, that's where I get all of the all of the samples that I get in for the most part that have diseases are because of in-ground irrigation. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that the in-ground irrigation is, I'm inferring this, what you're saying is they're applying too much water because they have in-ground? Yes, I knew it. It it is not a set it and forget it device. And I've said this in years in nutrition, water is the biggest problem and it's almost always too much water is almost always the problem. And so, I just find it fascinating that when I have these conversations with people that I generally don't interact with that much, they have the same position. But I will say that we often we often talk about irrigation and we talk about deep and infrequent, right? Mm-hmm. We talk about this aspect of, well, we want to water deep and infrequently because then the roots are going to go down and seek the water. Mm-hmm. That's not what's going on. We need air. <laughs> yes. The roots need to respire, right? Yeah. So if you waterlog them constantly, yeah. they can't grow and Did you wa- the plant's not going to be healthy. I have homeowners with in-ground irrigation that in August will be complaining of drought. Okay. Like, yes, because you have kept it soggy the whole time. There's no roots there. <laughs>